Okay, we're live. I think we're live. Hey, I can see everybody in here. Yeah, we are. It okay. says live, but I'm not seeing us. I'm on my phone looking at it. So there we yeah, go. It's oh, here oh, on shut the up. Okay. We live. We live. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, we're going to get started with our discussion because my co host has a lot to say about the book. <laughs> <laughs> Look, already Tatiana and I have been arguing already. Okay. <laughs> we're already fighting. Okay. Um, but it's all good. It's all good. Yes, absolutely. Um, you know, so we're gonna we're gonna get started here. Um, welcome. If you're someone who does not want to discuss spoil, you don't you don't want to hear any spoilers, then maybe you should go away because we just we won't be talking. To hang out, okay? So um, we're gonna get started, and let's just start just with first. For people in here who don't know who's on the screen, I'm Brown Girl Reading. This is my co-host Tatiana from Musical Tati and Michael from Michael Reads. And we're going to be discussing tonight the old drift. So let's get started with your first impressions oh, of the old drift. You can start with Tatiana. Um for, okay, wait. When you say first impression, you mean like when we first started, or now that no, we're my finished? first impressions is just like your overall okay thoughts. Okay, o overall thoughts. Um, I enjoyed the story. I didn't love the story. How like I may like it a little more after our discussion because that's just the beauty of having a discussion with people about books. Um, mm -hmm. I liked the story. There are a lot of elements that. I really enjoyed like the how they're all they were all of the characters were connected even yeah. if they didn't know that they were connected we were able to see that connection um I also really liked the the like when I when I was reading and I realized that the chorus element of the story mm -hmm. were mosquitoes the muses and then yeah. to come to realize as you go on in the story that these are Mosquitoes. Mos mosqui mosquitoes. Yeah. They're, yeah. <laughs> they're Jacob's technology that's like yeah. semi-sentient, I guess, that, that are yeah. sharing there. I was like, this is this is great. Yeah. Um I also really enjoyed the differences in uh classes that it's not really discussed, but it's evidenced in the the ways that the children of the family are raised. Like Sibylla lived the life where she could live the majority of her life in hiding because of whatever arrangement that her mom made with Lena. Jacob, as you go like to the bottom of the family tree, Jacob, with all of his ambition and all of his smarts, did not have the ability to go to school to even learn how to read number one, while Joseph did, but kind of squandered his op his opportunity. And then you have Naila, who had that opportunity, but was the party girl um, as well. But the just the differences in opportunities provided and how they chose to take, how the characters chose to take advantage of them. And I think the way that they chose to take advantage of them was mm -hmm. indicative of the opportunities that were readily available to them based on their the resources that they had available to them. So um, I really liked that part of it. Hold on, let me go to like the fourth page of my notes because I think there was something else. Um, the, I liked, okay, so one thing that I did not like, typically yeah. when I read a book that's this long, once I get to the end, I will go back to the beginning and if there's a prologue, I'll reread re the prologue to get some context behind yeah. that with the rest of the story. And the whole synopsis says that there's an event that happens where Percy un unintentionally links these three bloodlines together. Mm -hmm. And as I was reading the story, it missed, it missed me what mm -hmm. the event was. But when I went back to read it, I got it. But mm -hmm. I was like, I should, that should have been like obvious to me. And I don't know if it was the, the hunting thing. No, so it wasn't obvious to you either. 
Oh, okay. that's what I thought it was. That's what I thought it was. We'll talk. We'll talk about that later. So yeah, okay. those are oh, those right. are those are my overall impressions. Um, yeah, it, I I liked it. There were a lot of elements about it that I liked. There were a few things that I was not a fan of. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. But I, I understand wh where you were coming from with some of the things that you said you didn't like. Yeah, like I, I didn't, I didn't like the whole, the first sentence of the story. Yeah, she, she was like, I was <laughs> Wait, like, what? the fuck? The buzz? Yeah. No, no, oh. no, 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 no. Of the actual, oh, of the actual one. story. The like, yeah. we're talking about the building of a nation. So of course we're starting with the white man. Yeah. Oh, okay. And I was yeah. like, yeah, it says this is a story of a nation, not a kingdom of, not a kingdom. Oh, that one. Not the okay. So it begins, of course, with a white man. But you, and you I, get, I get that it's sarcasm. I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. Yeah. But See, wow. now I'm, I'm just going to say this for people who maybe haven't read all the way through yet. I highly recommend the audiobook mm. because the mm. audiobook really does. They put a lot of work into getting you know, the intonations and the sarcasm and the things in the right places that may not be as evident when you're reading them. So if there's anybody that's watching, you know, that is a little squeamish about reading that I didn't listen to the entire, I only listened to like half of it, like the, the second half of it. And I thought it was brilliantly done. So that's something for people who haven't read it and maybe, you know, need a little help. It's very good for understanding better the context of some of the things. Okay, are you 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 done? I'm you done. done. I'm okay, done. Yeah. Michael, what, what are your um, overall impressions? Um, I liked it. I don't think I loved it. Um, and I'm not even gonna lie. I think this I this is one of those stories where I will remember parts of it, but as a whole, I think for me, the last portion of this, especially the children, um, I wasn't the most excited about it. Uh, the children is where I was really pushing. Now I don't know if this was because it was like three a.m. in the morning. No, but I, was, I had the same. Problem. I was really pushing myself. Problem. I was like, <laughs> I, I, I was like, okay, I get it. I think the problem with so if you if we break this down to three pieces, I think the problem with the children is that it's not as interesting as the grandmothers, and it's definitely not as interesting as the mothers. Yeah. Like, um, and I'm not gonna lie. I I think the the journey is better than the destination because. The ending, it doesn't yeah. really land it well enough that it makes the journey be like, oh wow. But it's just like, yeah, I agree. Okay, yeah. and it, I don't the, the I'm not gonna. I think it also the children could have been cut. Yeah, I mean, I but think I, the whole section. I think this would have been a really tight, really good three hundred page novel because the kids. I mean, the kids they, added nothing to the story. Yeah, I felt as though that whole section could have just been the dam. The like only, that would have just. The only part that that the kids added to the story was Jacob, because of the with flies. the drones. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah. And I I don't know. Also, writing wise, like from a writing perspective, the children part, I I was like, where is, where's the writing? Like, where is the the brilliant like the syntax and the the quotes and whatnot from the grandmothers and the mothers i felt like it, it felt lost it felt like for me i felt like it just wasn't up to the same caliber, caliber. yeah like but i did like it i mean if anything the the magical realism was my favorite part i really like that yeah she did it really well she yeah he added, it's like, I think is the thing is, is this novel is really like a mix of a lot of different things. It's, yeah. it's, it's romance, it's history. It's, it's not psychology. romance. <laughs> it is I mean, not romance. It is fucking, that's it. Don't think romance in the way that you're thinking of romance now. I'm thinking of, there's these boy meet girl stories. That's okay. girl, okay. boy meet girl stories. So that's romance for me. But, okay. um, got you, got you. So I feel like that is, one of the main things in the in in that makes this novel special is the fact that it, it it's like a a mix of a lot of different things. Yes, yeah. this would be definitely literary fiction. Like it's oh yeah, so hard sure. to classify it underneath anything else because it's just it's definitely literary fiction. Yeah. 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 for sure. Okay, I agree with you. Um, 
for the part about the, the children, it's that's probably the most difficult thing. Because as I was reading, it was last night I was finishing this, and it felt like the shift was you know, like, I don't know, like we were going down the highway at 90 kilometers an hour. Yeah. And say, oh, crap. We had 130. Woo, slow down. You know, it, it just it was going really fast at the end. And so fast that I was I was having to do a lot to 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 think about what was going on. Mm-hmm. And it's true of it's probably the least interesting part of the story of, is the part with the children. Yeah. So I totally agree with you with that. I mean, that is, I, in, the, in the ending, I was just like, like, how is she going in this mess? What, they going to blow the fucking dam and drown everybody? She ended what? it the way that she ended it the the way, you know, those memes with the um high, the black movies, the high school black movies. And it's like the, the dude is, play, is playing the guy and he got a football scholarship to such and such a college. And, <laughs> It goes to the chick and she is she sang at some talent show and she won the she won the grand prize and used that money to start her hair. So that's how it that's how this five hundred something page novel ended. Yeah. yeah, it's it's um that's probably the probably for me the most disappointing part is the last part of the novel. But I thoroughly enjoyed the first, I would say seventy five percent of the novel. I can, yeah. Yeah. I mean it was yeah. there were a lot of little historical elements that are actually real life elements that are thrown mm-hmm. in all the way throughout, which is showing the, you know, the development of Zambia as we're going along with the story, following the growth of Zambia through these characters. I thought that was really, really well done. Wonderful writing. Oh, the writing is. So yeah, yeah the, one, the writing is just. Yeah. Especially the first beginning. Cause it's just like, it's on, all cylinders, and I just felt as though it just kept going down as we reached the children. I was like, I, yeah, well, because you know, you you can you can feel that it's going to end badly. I mean, even before we get to the children, because mm-hmm. it just felt like as the generations were going on, it got worse like, and worse. People, like there was no better. There well, was no better. These people struggling. Okay, they having bad shit happen to them. I mean, it was just getting worse. And worse and worse. So I wasn't too surprised that, that the ending was going to be, you know, as traumatic as it was. You know, it's like you have the dam in the beginning that starts as the dam uh, that is supposed to just help uh, people be able to pass over. And then we wind up with, oh my God, it's like a watery grave. It's like, what? You know, it, it just switches. I don't know if she's trying to say something with that. Like, it doesn't take long before you can do something that's traumatic, that's just going to blow everyone, you know, to smithereens, uh, just making a bad decision or whatever. But um, it feels very quick and yeah, final. Yeah. You know? Also, like, I felt as though, like, from a character development perspective, I thought the children was, I, don't, I was like, I don't like y'all. <laughs> they like they ain't like each other either. Like, I think that's it. You know what? I think that's done on purpose. Yeah, they're not they, supposed to be like. I don't think they're yeah, supposed to be like. Likeable. They're basically what everything that they are the result of what has come out of everything mm. that the country has become. That's it right there. Which yep. is so you have like these different. You have these distinctly different points of view between Joseph and Jacob. And uh, what was it? Nyla? Nyla. Nyla. And then when you think about you know Solo and Peppa, this is what the country has rendered. Mm-hmm. What you see there, you know. So it, it's not that surprising that they're not likable. It's I think it's totally normal that they're not likable. Um, and you know what? Another thing that I think it shows is like this whole once we get to um, Ronald and Agnes. Get, and I think maybe I played too much Animal Crossing because I kept wanting to call Ronald Roll. Um, <laughs> <but> <laughs> once we get to Ronald and Agnes getting to Zambia and setting their space because they get back, Ronald thinks that this is going to be like such the best thing for their relationship and they're going to be able to live it as man and wife, but he goes back into white Zambian society. And yeah. the expectation is you her, you her servant. You can't be her yeah. husband. Um, 
Yeah. But the the strings of revolution that and rebellion that continue to go through the story. Um yeah. the, and like it seems the same on the same line as as we get to the children, um, as we go down the generations, the story, the actions and mindset of the kids kind of lose focus. So does the reason for and the fight behind revolution that loses focus to the point yeah, where we have a whole with their with that storyline with Agnes and Ronald. This yeah. idea of the the Marxist reading group, yeah, and, mm. and and Ronald with his, uh, I guess his professorship or whatever he was doing was totally in a totally different different alignment. Like, but they yeah. had, but they had the, they had drive and they had knowledge and understanding yeah. behind why they were doing what they were doing. Yeah, you get to the children and they have a whole movement Crazy. going on behind an acronym that nobody knows what it means. I'm trying to figure out what it that was so no, great. nobody who is at nobody who's participating in this revolution, participating in this event, know what the hell S S O T P stands for. But is it realistic of, of some of the things that we yes. see? Before? Oh, we, we definitely okay. Like, you're Absolutely. like, you don't take much to get people out in the street, you know, doing something, and then and and then they don't even really know what they're out there for, you know. And then so, the drone vaccination at what oh, would yeah. be this that whole was, super spreader event. I was like, was, oh, is this for comfort? When was this written? Because I I didn't even check. 2019. The, okay, because I was like, if some shit like this went down at these damn events that people be going to on the beach, like ain't shit wrong with COVID, and they had drones that just went out and stuck everybody with vaccines. Yeah. Yeah, Yo. girl, that, that whole scene, I was just like, this is too close for comfort. I don't need to be reading this stuff right here. I mean, oh my God. I, that whole thing. Everybody had those little had bee things in their fingers. And oh, child. I was and like, at first oh. you were calling them beads, but then when they, when Zambia allowed the Afro net, I liked every, how everything they were Afro nice. They had the Afro net. Yeah. Um, that I like. Uh, but was- when they changed it, then they got, you know, you can't call them beads anymore. Now you can call them chips, whereas chips, before it was yeah. you couldn't call them chips, so they yeah. had to call them beads. And then you have these randos who are inserting these beads in, and Mai comes into the clinic, and her whole shit is infected. I yeah. think her bead was blinking when she yeah. went to the clinic because she had AIDS. Yeah, maybe. that Because she said, why he, he blink every time I pass the clinic? <laughs> Because you got the hiv, boo. You got the hiv. But I thought the, the way her voice was written was great. Yeah. I was listening to it, so it was hilarious listening to it because they had the accent like she would have had. And so it just it just was a lot more fun to read. But um, yeah, that whole scene was, that all that stuff was just, ooh, creepy. Creepy. Yeah. And I'm Let's jump to the end. I know some of y'all said y'all still reading it, but we talking spoilers. Yeah. Let's jump to the end where Nyla is screwing either Jacob or Joseph yes, on the friend. boat. And Mai sees her and see, and it looks like there are drones going up her spine. Like yeah. there are drones affixed to her spine. Yeah. Give what the fuck? Did she what? get another? Did she get another tattoo? What? How do you yeah. give us that and then not let us know? Did they flick off when she got up? Were they? At- I don't know. I saw that too. I thought, <laughs> oh, that was so creepy. I was like, and then then the fact that we know that she survives and has a baby. But we don't know no. if baby oh. boy is for Jacob or for Joseph. And that's and that's what's on the we don't know the baby boy's name. We know nothing, nothing about this child yeah. except he has a Peter. And it yeah. says even in the even in the family tree, it's got them all linked and it just says at the bottom a boy. A boy, yeah. Oh la 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 la. That ending so the story, it's like the story continues. Also, there's no shortage of condoms. Why is everybody just screwing willy-nilly when Everybody got a somebody was taking birth control pills. I don't remember who that was. Was that Nyla was taking birth control Nyla, pills? Yeah. They're using no condom. That ain't gonna keep you from getting birth control. No, that's gonna keep you from getting, getting AIDS. AIDS, which didn't really make sense because you know we're in that period and talking about that. And and she was like taking the birth control pills, but they weren't using condoms, and I'm just oh, uh. And Lionel is doing research and oh, no, that, was awful. that, but that whole 
Y'all have been so love for the research and creating the vaccine. That intrigued me and had yes. that had my attention. That hard. part was yeah. really good. The that was is, so good. He winds yes. up giving it to his wife, his everybody he's screwing his wife so that he doesn't give it to her. And she then they somehow jump each other one night and, yes. and yeah, she they gets all it. She and all the cases, even even like all the science talk during that portion, I was like, "Oh, this is great. good." It was so it's, yeah, good. It's really interesting. And the the Lusaka, the Lusaka patient and the other patients yeah. that they had with the yeah. genetic abnormality that allowed yeah. them to have the disease, but for the disease yeah. not to progress. Yeah, some of those. That well, was that, so a lot good. of those is true. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, and that's and that's what I'm good. sad that it took like I. It you know, took so African long. women who were prostitutes who had this. The, like the, it, it was a genetic, um, yeah, a genetic, genetic abnormality or a genetic disposition, yes. however you would. Yeah, like there, to. there was something in their recessive genes or something that. Yeah, they they got it, but they weren't. Something wasn't connecting, and I was like, yeah. oh, "This is so because it's." And Since I didn't, she wrote I didn't this. have the chance to research that because I basically read 90% no, 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 of this book. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's weird. Like, I think Cynthia it's said there's a mention of one condom, and it's true. The condom that Joseph steps on. Steps when he's on. <laughs> like, you didn't oh, even yeah. know. You didn't even have the sense to tie it off after you took it off. You just took it off and just let it fall and then you wipe what's on your foot on the oh, bed like, like y'all just dirty this. as fuck man oh. like there is no oh my gosh i mean if you in a rush i guess you yeah no, he got I, back in the bed michael he was I not think in a Lionel rush is, is everybody around him i was just like nah bro i'm i'm mm -mm. no Okay, can we talk about can we talk about Matha? Because that storyline right there pissed me off. Well, I'll let you start because you know I can go, I can oh. go, go right, go for it, Dee Dee. We don't oh get to see God. Dee Dee like story. I mean, about shit like this. Let's oh go. Oh my Let's God. Go. Okay, so already the fact that she's with a boy, she's with Godfrey. So Godfrey is, I don't know how to say, he's just a goddamn deadbeat. <laughs> Whenever <laughs> It was so weird because, like, I was like, "Why are we calling him God?" Like, that's Godfrey. Um, yeah, he he, he just a deadbeat. I don't know no other way to say it. But they were together, and then um, they went to see um, Matha's sister, and they tried to like st hang at her place, and she was like, "Ah, y'all got to get out of here because her sister had hooked up with the teacher." Her, her, not the teacher, her teacher, <clears throat> and her teacher was going to try to, was, she was having a little fling with him so she could try to get stuff, but she wanted her sister out, so she threw them both out, but when she threw them both out, by this time, Matha was already pregnant. With Sylvia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And she winds up being taken to the aunties, and then from the aunties, to her parents. And then from there, she, one day she just up and steals her daddy's car. One, Doesn't go make a financial exchange so that her cash because I'm sorry. And also runs runs away with the daddy's car and the daddy's money, which is about to become defunct because they're changing the, the whole currency, all the currency <laughs> in the country. So so she winds up running the car till it can't run no more. And mostly she runs the car out because she didn't left the lights on all night, fall asleep in the damn car. So now the car won't move. So then she got to get on a bus. And then she winds up not being able to find the deadbeat Godfrey. So she winds up going to a cousin's place, which is by grace, who is disgraced from the family. We don't know what she did to get disgraced, but she disgraced. So she goes and stays with her and winds up having her daughter, Sylvia. Okay, now this is where I was had to jump off the damn bus. Because her sister, so the one that was hooking up and shacking up with, with, the, with the teacher, but keep in mind the teacher married and got kids of his own. Mm -hmm. So she basically the side chick he paying for her to live somewhere else. 
one so of the side suddenly, chicks. Suddenly now, uh, she's going to have a coming to Jesus and she need to find herself a baby to keep her sugar daddy on, on, on the hook. So she going to steal her sister's baby. So she basically has Grace kidnap the baby and bring the baby to her. In which case, then he, she tries to pass that baby off to her sugar daddy as being the baby she's had with him. Now, and he up there talking about, but I didn't see you pregnant. I didn't see your stomach so big. Oh, well, I guess it's possible. There are some men who are there. Oh, yes, I need you to understand. understand. <laughs> oh, oh. There. So she then literally takes her sister's baby and tells her sister, "You were I'm sorry, I stayed muted. A child, oh my God. you you were a bad mother." Okay, because there's a thing with Matha is Matha. She in tears. She te she, she, she that's her magic. Crying Matha. her life away. She cries all day and all night. Crying all her whole day. life away. Her eyes sewed shut from salt water coming out of her body. Look, all the biblical, um, all the biblical references. I, I like that. Yeah. There's so many good. of them. So many. Good. So many. But when Cookie took her sister's baby, Shala was not good. Okay. That just oh, that just, I mean, that just, and then they had the cheek to be calling her Miss Cookie at the end of the book. Miss who? And she got a she got a job, but she got a good she got a reputable job. She has she's a respectable individual in the place where she works. She's not living the life of a kept woman no more because she had to get her ass a job because her vagina's yeah, well, because her. yeah, her man was trying to trying to screw her, her niece. That's why. <laughs> because finally, I don't think that relationship ended when she kicked her when she kicked Sylvia out. I don't think that relationship ended. You think it kept? You think it kept going? I don't I think know. it kept going. I think she kicked her out to make to out. make sure well, okay, that I'm just she was not there the as daughter, a daughter. As she was growing up, the, this man started paying attention to the daughter, and the next thing you know, they started having a sexual relationship. And, and one she day, wearing, she wore her lingerie. She was wearing her aunt's lingerie. She walked in on them having sex, that, and that was it. She threw her out of the house, and that was over. She changed the lock and everything. Yeah. <laughs> she didn't even say I'm throwing you out. She just changed the freaking lock. <laughs> she was trying to get in and, and she couldn't get in. So um yeah. And then, but then when when they when Godfrey shows up again, what are our girl doing? I my oh, legs to Godfrey. Why? I know I personally know some I know someone who has done this and as vexed as you are. That's how vexed I am every time I see them Girl, together. I know like, someone who has done, who has allowed a dude to go on and do, well, not allowed. He left. She allowed him to come back in. And I was like, the fuck? And they had more kids. Mm. Repeat. The fuck. Mm -hmm. So it it that is that's one part that I was like, oh, I know somebody who can't read this shit. But like when she when, <laughs> when she sees Godfrey, he's all out in the garden or something, and basically he's even more of a deadbeat than he was before. With but a death certificate, I'm a dead man. You, you sure? Are. You sure? Are. <laughs> that that part where the description, I was like on your knees. I that's that's the one thing I remember from that part was when he said he's a dead man and then something about on her knees and I was like wait what? I said like, this is wild. Yeah, because when we find when we find out when this story because the story she does this part really well it loops around and we realize that Godfrey is the person that, that Isabella, Isabella and, and Balaji Balaji hit. Hit. They're in their Land Rover and they hit this. Yes. Man. We don't know when. He, we, yeah, he, exactly. But like they hit the man, he gets out, throws the man some money and they keep moving. Like they don't even stop. Okay. So while we're on this, can we talk about this white chick that who, is in Naila oh. meets uh, at the bonfire who yeah. screwed this, this bro man with a broken leg and a hole in his cheek on the side of the road because she Girl. thought he was going to die. And Girl. So she just screws him. But while we're waiting for the ambulance to get here, I mean, we ain't got shit else to do. Let me hop look, on it. Look, look, she was like, I thought he was going to die. 
I mean, he was like, it, you know, he, he was just, he was all by himself. We were all alone. And I didn't know, I was just like, the fuck am I reading here? I was just like, could not believe that part. Maybe she was into it. Like he has a hole in his face. Oh my God. <laughs> he has a hole in his face. He's all fucked up because he's been hit by a freaking leg. Like how bad must he look after being hit by a Land Rover with a hole in his face? And this girl has sex with him. Girl, that that whole that whole story right there. But the God, he got my respect because you kept it up with a broken leg and a hole in your face. Go, <laughs> go ahead, bro. <laughs> yeah, but then when she sees him in the garden, she takes him back in, and I'm like, oh hell no. Okay, she it was Tandy. Thank you, thank you, CS. It was Tandy. Yeah, Tandy, and she takes she takes him back. And then she keeps saying, well, where were you? Where were you? I'm like, who the fuck cares? Why do you care now? Your Why child you is grown. Your child is a grown ass adult. He was missing before you even really told him that you was pregnant. And also, Why, the fuck you you care? Why are you still crying over this? And on top of it, he, like I said, he's like a, he looks like a Rasta man. Like he's got... His hair is all nappy. It's like not even like good dress. It's like nappy. He, you know, he don't look like he bathes. He he just he like around. Like he like moving around like a lump of something, moving over here, then he moving over there. He ain't doing nothing. He ain't working. He ain't. He and ain't then what does a dead man do? Nothing. He sells coffins. He builds and sells coffins. Them coffins was probably shoddy as shit. And he keep and he also says the stupidest things to the kids. Oh my God, <laughs> he's it, he's dumb, and that's and that's shared and exemplified or highlighted when they're in the space program. We gonna talk. Let's talk about Brian Coloso while we at that too. Yeah. But when they're in the space program, and he is, he says some of the dumbest things. And Martha, that's another thing that pissed me off about Martha. Martha was so intelligent. Yeah, she was very she had she was so intelligent. There is so much that she could have done after the whole bot and colossal thing. Yeah, but she did do one shit. thing. I felt like she kind of inspired Jacob in his oh yeah his fire to be an engineer to fix things to make things work. So I feel that's like after that's after she spent 20, 30 years fucking crying at I know, but at least you can say she did that one thing. So she so she didn't totally yeah. waste <laughs> she didn't totally waste the sunset years of her life. She just did that one thing that was good because when he was having difficulty and, reading and she taught him to read and yeah. she, she was inspiring him and but so the I fact that like, she had the yeah. fact that she still had all of that knowledge, the fact that she could listen to him explain what needed to happen and know this is what you're missing and sit there and draw it out in such a quick time span and then yeah. teach it to him yeah. over the course of the night. There's so much that she could, it's, it's just like you wasted your life over this yeah. penis who yeah. did nothing, Not, for, nothing you. for you. Did nothing for you. First sign of trouble, he ran out of town. I mean, and, and made sure he was disappearing and nobody was going to find him. Um, but yeah, so that was very hard for me to read because I was just like, the fuck. Every every five, every couple lines, I was like, the fuck? What's going what? on? <laughs> the fuck? What you doing? <laughs> I kept saying that the whole time. The fuck? I, would find, I would find myself reading and then realize that my hand had been up like, but minutes at a time while I'm yeah. holding the book reading. Cause I'm like, the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> I mean, like I was like, what is going on? And when that, when the white girl, which some people are saying in the, in the comment section that the white girl sleeping with Godfrey with a hole in his, in his face and being hit by the uh, Land Rover, it's just like a, an example of white saviorism. Mm. Boy, that's going beyond and above and beyond the duty. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> that whole thing. I was just like, above and beyond the duty. You, li you literally just came. You came to Zambia to get to get African dick. Like that's yeah. the only reason why you in, came. In any way you can, and in, in any way you could, and probably <laughs> took AIDS back with you home. Oh my goodness. 
difficult. All right. So I got that off my chest. <laughs> that was great. Because <laughs> I was just like, that was just like, I can't with you people right now. I was just <laughs> like, y'all is pissing me off in this book. Um. Okay, so let's talk about because we, Dee Dee and I, I don't. Michael was I, was still setting up when we had this discussion or started this discussion. What do you believe was the event that happened between Percy and Pietro that linked or uh, that linked these three families together? Because what you think and what I, yeah, because what you think well, you and what I think are two different. It wasn't that, so that's what I was yeah, thinking. Yeah, no, I didn't say it wasn't that. I said that. That's, I said you were confused too, because I got something different. That's why I'm asking. That's what I thought it was the 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 whole thing, the the pig situation, um, in the beginning. Um, yeah, there. I marked that part. I think. I marked nothing. <laughs> Look. But I had so many pages. I was, I was on get through this, bitch. Get I it. Been like Michael should have done different colors and make it a little easier. But yeah, um, let me just see if I can remember the situation in the beginning. It's with, it's it's when he is, he's it's some kind of hunting situation. Um. Oh, maybe I didn't mark that. Uh. Yeah, I maybe I didn't mark because it's in the very beginning. Now. Oh, wait, there's one thing, Mark. Wait, let me see if this isn't it. I don't think I marked it, I but didn't mark it either. But there's this thing, there's this thing with the pig, I remember, some kind of hunting um, accident thing. Um, oh, man. If anybody know, can remember that scene in, in the- Yeah, we don't have the, the page comment. number, Al, but that's, I, what, that's why we're looking. I can't-, I can't Al remember. says page number, please. That's the problem. It's in the very beginning. There's a scene with, um, I think it's like a hunting situation and a pig. I think it's this scene right here. That scene is the one. Um, that does it. Uh, wait, let me see. Uh. Uh, um, I yeah. I found the part where they were fighting. Where is that? It's on page sixty-five. Oh no, I don't know if it's a, is it that far out? Maybe. It yeah, maybe it is. It's maybe I'm 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 looking too early on. I read that so long ago, and that's what I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and see my. I don't remember a pig at the beginning. Again, we read that so long yeah, ago. This is the pig, and let me just see if I can't. That guy in an argument. Um, yeah, and are you talking about Federico and his brother? Because in the sixties, we're we're no longer at Percy and Pietro. Uh, let me just see if I can uh, figure it out. Who was y'all's favorite character while we look? Ooh, shit. Did I have one? That's the <laughs> question you should have asked. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, because uh, you, li you like characters for different reasons in different situations. I think if I had to pick... Oh, gosh. Yeah, I... Mm, mm, mm. I thought Agnes was pretty funny. Agnes was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. um, and my, I, I may have to say Sibylla. 
I did like Sibylla as well. I may have to say Sibylla. Hated Isabel with a pa Isabella with a passion. She you did. know what? I kind of wish we had more section of the of her being a pilot. Uh, not pilot. Um, Massa? a stewardess. Oh, that was oh, um, Tandy Way. Tandy, that was yeah. Tandy Way. I was no, like, she's not in the fucking bloodline. But that scene was hilarious. Like it, it was, was hilarious. Was but crazy. that pissed me off because I'm like, why we talk about Tandy Way? And my what I didn't understand is if this is supposed to be a discussion and like sharing of the bloodline that's Percy and Pietro connected, why um well Okay, Laura says your pig incident is on page 16. 16. Oh, was it that? Really? 16. Let the congregation turn to page 16. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> turn, in, turn in your books to page 16. <laughs> oh, here's my pig. Here was my pig. I saw that once what, what was. The boy had been sent to cut grass, but had been loitering in the dongo or dick. Okay. Uh, During I report him here, cut it for stupid low to escape notice, but not quite low enough. Just about. Oh, that's when he shoots. He thinks the boy is a pig, and he shoots him. I yeah. found the boy unconscious. A crowd already standing around. I patched him up and sent for the doctor and sent him off for home. I soon became aware of that a pair of native police constables were walking behind me. Yeah, native police are never sent to take in a white. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who shot oh. the pig? What's the price of pork? As it turned out, by the strangest coincidence, the native's name was Inkalubu, which means none other than pig. Okay, that's not the incident that I believe linked them uncontrollably, linked them together. There could be another one, but you know. The I'm incident that I believe linked them together is on page 12. Okay, so a couple of pages before. Yes. Okay. Um, while he is, because Pietro, not Pietro, Percy is sick with fever because that was one of the descriptions. And again, I went back and read this after I finished the book because I was like, I missed that shit. Because at first I was like, maybe it's when he buried their firstborn initially at the hotel. Yeah. Um, but then I was like, that doesn't, that doesn't connect in Galube. No. Um, yeah. So there's, so there's a situation that where Gavuzzi. He says, Gavuzzi was an irritating man in the best circumstances. Then he provoked me by cutting in. I shouted him off. He turned on his heel, and as he stepped away, I grabbed his hat, almost as a prank. It came off his head easily, but my grip went a touch too far, and a patch of his hair came off with it, oh, pulled yeah. up by the root. Mm. Yeah. I stared at it in my hand, wondering if it was a wig, and we were in Parliament. Gavuzzi stood in shock, his pate turning scarlet, or pate, pate, then sat on the floor with a bark. Ada, Lena's mother, rushed over quick as she could, given her condition, because she was pregnant with Lena's brother, who was going to be Sibylla's daddy. Yeah. Um, and, and left Lena in the corner. Most whelps would have wept, but Lena shrieked with fury. And when an innocent native boy rushed by with the tray, she struck him, knocked him flat. He was never right in the head again. He oh, became yeah. an imbecile, forever smiling at the yeah. daisies. Yeah, yeah, that that's me, that's what that's what I took that, to be. I think the you're right. I think you're right. That's the part. Yeah, I think you're right. Absolutely. Or she could be just talking about the boy, <laughs> the final boy, and then she's going backwards. That's a that's also a way to look at it too. This is how not all, no no no. How they all connect <laughs> <laughs> was the boy at the end. <laughs> but we don't know anything about the boy at the end. We only know we that don't. he was born. We don't know anything. Yeah. We just we don't. We only boy. know that he was born, and his name was not Ingalubu. We yeah. We don't have his name. Yeah, and this happens in this don't know happens in the early 1900s. <clears throat> this yeah. happened because their first. They their miscarriage is in like 1906 or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, their first miscarriage. So this happens in the early 1900s with Percy. Percy ain't come with Percy. Time may be cyclical. We don't know that, but Percy ain't come. Back. <laughs> Percy, good old Percy. Yeah, 
so that's that's the that was the event that I thought. And then and then Engalube just continuously shows up, but because we don't get his name, yeah, at the we don't get his name in this part. So mm-hmm. that's also what makes it difficult to change to connect this as the possible, but that's the only event where all three of them are there and where Percy is. Yeah, sick. absolutely. That's what that's what I, I I turned into my mama watching Law and Order. <laughs> You're correct. I wish I would have had time to reread the beginning, just the first like twenty pages again. Didn't have time. Yeah. My favorite sections, um, that's was, what I when it came to like writing wise, was whenever the description of sex. I just was like, this is good. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I was like, this is good. <laughs> We're gonna talk. We talked about this. Me and I, I was talking about this um, when me and Didi was talking. But it's on page ninety four. It's yeah. the first time with Ronald, and this description is just so good. It is really good. That page. I'm not gonna read the whole thing because I don't want us to get censored. But just like even the descriptions <laughs> of just Ain't they no tussle with with their clothing, the with their legs. Here. So many legs his in between hers or on either side or alternating. And then just like even this part where she says, oh dear, she said, how lovely. Like that just, that's so good. <laughs> that I love. It's so good. Every time, some, every time a, a woman touched a penis and the reaction of yeah. their touching, I just, I was it's, like, this is so, like, just like you, Michael, like the description of- Descriptions are so react, good. Their They're reaction good. to it is so yeah. good. Yeah, it is good. There's it's another one so in good. here, but it was a little bit more raunchy, so I don't, I don't think I'm gonna describe it. The one it, at but... the, um, at the fair? <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah. oh. Yeah. <laughs> the okay. one at the fair. <laughs> I was like, all right, y'all enjoy this little kiss. No, but it's really good that scene because you can only you can see that it heightens the senses and the fact that Agnes can't see. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that was all just she has is touch. You know, so she has is touch. everywhere it's just kind. Of, it gives you kind of like the sensation of what what you could be feeling. Yeah, and, see, and that's a, like just the beginning. Just like yeah, someone with hair, someone who who can't see that love is blind. I was like, oh. Yeah. yeah. Like, and you know what else I enjoy? I liked about this story so much that we don't typically get in stories that are not romance stories that are set during the early 1900s. Every woman who participated in sex in this story, whose perspective we got, enjoyed their yeah. sexual experience. Yeah, exactly. It wasn't like it was forced on them or it was a horrible experience. A horrible experience. Yeah. I don't yeah. ever want to do this again. Yeah, I exactly. felt so uncomfortable. It hurt so much. Like yeah. there was, no. it was every single last one of them enjoyed their first and following sexual experiences. And I appreciated that so much because I hate, I hate when the yeah. stories, you know, allow yeah, and the people woman, who are reading them to think that women didn't enjoy sex back then, and sex was all about the men. And also, the, the like when we saw Tandy Way and and uh, Lionel get together, mm. and he, she really enjoyed their sexuality, and all of a sudden he just he wouldn't even stopped, touch her. He just stopped doing her, and so she was like, yeah. "Okay, well, I'm gonna go do myself." No, <laughs> she was like trying to do herself, and there he was snoring. And like, oh, okay, great. That <laughs> and that is so insulting. It is. I was, I was like, the fact that you didn't just beat him, like bitch slap him in the head, and he wake up in the middle of the night and be like, why is my hair so, so I don't know, baby, maybe you hit your head in the night. So sad. He'd have woke up bruised. He'd have been like Ingalube. You ain't a doctor no more. It's so sad that when you see how their, their relationship, it crumbles, you know, and it's it's terrible for her. And then when you see Balaji and Isabella, she doesn't want to have any more kids. Girl, she said she won't have no kids. It's like okay, and, but the not having sex to not have kids exactly. was such a toll on her. She did not. She did not enjoy living that celibate uh, lifestyle. My husband was all over her. He was trying to get her in the kitchen, in the bathroom, <laughs> or trying to get her everywhere. She, she did like, not oh, enjoy that celibate lifestyle. <laughs> She was trying to, he was trying to get it any way he could. And she was just like, I don't want it. I don't want no more kids. But the fact that she kept silent about the number of miscarriages that she had between 
Yeah, but they wound up between, having all girls, and they had all two. girls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Between oh, oh my gosh, what was the oh my gosh? Oh God, my four girls. Oh wait, wait, I got their names in here. Somewhere. Nyla, and then between Nyla and the first, the next girl that survived after her it was like once that one baby made it all the way, then the other one she felt more comfortable. I can't remember what the other what the three yeah. There's like there's some characters she has in here. So that many come miscarriages. Go between Nyla and then the next sibling that the next child that made it that she never told her husband and if she had because he was really there were there I think their relationship was the only loving relationship in the book even though they were both mentally like well no she but was mentally jacked up they all started very lovingly and then they changed they turn yeah but they theirs all, didn't they all fell deeply in love with each other and then when they really got married and the shit started going it wasn't happening no more but uh, so. but there's but there's didn't balaji and isabella were still in love with each other yeah they didn't have you know they had other things that they disagreed on like with the whole selling your children using your children's hair for profit because yeah, that, that was, oh well hmm. no that that's actually a thing. Yeah, that I is a, that is, that's a real that's thing. That's a real thing. thing. That's a that, real I, thing. I learned it from that documentary. Well, when Sibylla saw that her granddaughter's hair was being, you. she was just like, are y'all crazy? Like, what y'all doing up in here? Y'all need money this bad? <laughs> but it's a, it's a real thing, but also yeah, how know. fast their hair grew. Mm. It didn't hurt them. <laughs> it won't hurt them. Because their so hair was fast. She was outdone. Okay. She was outdone. Right. So she was like, right. hey, y'all doing and what I'm here? But my question is was she outdone because she didn't think to sell her hair herself? No, I think she was outdone at first, at first because she was saying, they're not like me. Mm. That was her first reaction. It's like, well, their hair isn't like mine. And, she, and then her daughter said, but they have your gene. That's why the hair grows like so fast. And she said it's so ugly. She was yeah. so ugly. Yeah. So ugly. Um, but yeah, that's that, yeah. That and they all all of these kids were crap to their parents. Like oh. Yeah. My mama always says the Lord know who to give to who win. Because none of them could have been Vicky's child. <laughs> <laughs> none of them. I, what did y'all think of the last two flies at the last page? The last two flies. Oh, it's the end like, of the story. Oh, I, yeah. I, the the, the, the I was mosquitoes like, oh. at the bottom of the page. It's the end of the story. Oh, yeah. Why did I say flies? Mosquitoes. I was like, oh. Okay, that's yeah, different. It's it's the end. It's the end of the story. I was like, oh, yeah. like this is this is where it ends. It began with the skeetos. It ends with the ski with the skeetos. <laughs> I think it's really good because the last paragraph is pretty good. Yeah. It's the time that ancient endless, uh, endless out into the distance, but along the way, a cumulative straight swerves it into a lazy lo loose curve. Imagine the equation. Or picture the graph of the Archimedean fireworks. Like this is in this is the turning that unrolls the day, that turns the turns that the seasons obey, and the cycle of years and the decades. But outer space too, that celestial gyre, the great Milky Way, turns inward and outward at once. So we roil in the oldest of drifts. Oh, there's the time. Slow slant spin at the pit of the void. The darkest heart of them all. I think it it sounds yes. fairy tale the way it ends. Yeah, yes. it's got like this kind but of. This fairy. is not a damn fairy tale. Oh no, it ain't. But it got that it got that little fairy tale turn at the yeah, end. Yeah, it's. I mean, there are parts in here like life goes it's, on, it's, bitch. It's, it's <laughs> so fairy tale ish. Yeah, life. Goes and on. I, I like. Okay, so two things that I'm gonna throw out there. Um, Sibylla's performance at um, at Lena's house when she was a child. Okay. And Joseph seeing Agnes's freckles as eyes. Wait, uh, Agnes? As, what did yeah. you say? Repeat that again? 
Sibylla's performances at Lena's house and then yeah. Joseph seeing his grandmother Agnes's freckles because she's blind, mm -hmm. seeing her freckles as eyes and the changes that he described oh, yeah. seeing in her freckles as mm -hmm. things happen. Yeah. And she has to pay attention to things. Yeah. I, I think, think that's, that's uh, um, yeah, those, I think there are probably other examples of that as well in the, in the book as well. Yeah. Yes. This idea of like things aren't what they always appear to be. They, they are, there's always something more to what you're seeing. And that uh -huh. there's always like there's more to Agnes, to Agnes's disability. Because there are, there are a lot of people that she comes in contact with. And it's even alluded to in a negative way, not as the freckles, but when she's going to the Marxist readings with Lionel and the guy has a conversation with Lionel about there are eyes everywhere who are watching, even the ones that can't see. And they they ask her not to come anymore. Like that's that's a ongoing like how she sees with more. She sees differently, but she still sees. Yeah. Um, and I really liked that with Joseph seeing her seeing her freckles in that way because it makes them morph into something more. more. Also, because yeah. a lot of people who have an abundance of freckles, she because she had an abundance. They were on her face. They were on her arms. Yeah. A lot of people who have freckles like that don't like their freckles. So yeah. they see them, and so it, it makes it sound. It it kind of does two things at one at one time. It makes it seem like the freckles are not. Um, appealing, but it also makes it seem like the freckles are another way that Agnes is able to absorb yeah. her surroundings. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I mean, I think there's also, um, there's like this way that women are portrayed in the book. This, this idea of um, the images uh, that we have of the different women. Do you feel like... You feel like in general they are um, as typical images that we see of women portrayed in books, or is there something different? Like physical wise, physical or or Mental, just pain, yeah. pain. Your choice. Not in the books I read. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would be very interested to see what people in the chat think. Uh, yeah, because, yeah, not not really in. Um, the books that I read, particularly because one of the things that I did not like about the character of Agnes when she was a child is when she loses her sight, again, the way that she treats her parents. She talks mm -hmm. to her parents horribly. She's so She becomes this slovenly person who just purposely eats and leaves crumbs everywhere. Everywhere, and yeah. Is unkempt and smells and all yeah. of that stuff. And then it's like when she realizes that I can still do, I can still play around with tennis. I may not be able to play tennis, but I can play around with some of the mechanics that I used to do in, in practicing for tennis. That's kind of when she comes, starts making a change in yeah. how she and how she handles herself. But prior to that happening, yeah, she, was, she is a dirty little somebody. Yeah, she was. It was, I feel like though, you see that that's not really something that we actually would see, I think women portrayed as. We usually see women portrayed as, you know, immaculate in some way. I mean, we don't think of them as little dirty <laughs> dropping right. stuff. Right. Well, yeah. Face and, you know, so she's. And if we do, they're tomboys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there, there's something attached to the reason. They're why not. They're, they're not feminine yeah. enough to Absolutely. be. Yeah. So I think she does play a little bit around with this idea of what uh, what is expected of uh, women, um, especially with, um, you know, the earlier chapters in the book. Because we have women that are just, they're just doing, they're just completely out of the ordinary, out of the ordinary used to seeing in books. Um, yeah. Um, Matha's also, like, if we had someone like Matha in a story who was so intelligent yeah. and, like, shows her, she learns how to read upside down. Yeah. Oh, and that was learns, so cool. And yeah. then learns how so to cool. read right side up. Yeah. And is able to take that knowledge and continue to, you know, continue to grow. She shaves her head. Her mom shaves her head so she can go to school and look like a boy and get schooling. You know, <laughs> there are all of these things that are put in your that are put in place. And you get the the give the giving it the just 
I'm going to, I'm going to throw my whole life away because I'm going to be with this boy. And yes, that happens to some extent with, with teenagers, young adults, period. When they get, they get into these all consuming relationships, Yeah. all they want to do is, you know, is be in the relationship, but you with an idiot. Like you're with someone who's yeah. not even intellectually on your same level. So the, and having no one because Cookie is so jealous, jealous, of, yes. uh, you know, of that connection. Yeah, she has no one in her corner no. who is able to tell her you need to let you in trouble, girl. You need to let this for this father mucker go. Even by in Coloso, she loses favor with him because he knows before anybody else knows that she's pregnant. There's a, it's only him and her that know at the very beginning of her pregnancy yeah. that she's pregnant, which shows the, the amount of attention that he was paying to her. And then he faces backlash for that because there's a lot of people in the community that he's in that thinks he done screwed this child. Yeah. And I think also for Matha, we have to realize she, she had some really hard lessons to learn really early, mm -hmm. like the importance of education and how it's, it, it is not offered to women. Yeah, it just and then you throw it away. And then also the difference between being smart and being wise. When her mama, <laughs> like when her mama, <laughs> when her mama went up there and went into the clink because of Bob and Colossal and that entire humiliating moment oh God, at so the schoolyard, awesome. that was horrible. That yeah. was it's to have it's that happen in front of kids. Yeah, and like the kids didn't. The kids didn't budge. You literally brought this man that you picked. There's no need for you to bring him by the school. You brought yeah. him by the school to beat yeah. him in front of these children. Children, and they just sat there and watched. It was terrible. That that I think is she learned one of the the most important lessons was the fact that she could actually have her head shaved and actually be there was a privilege. Yeah. But then the idea of knowing the difference between being smart and being wise, oh, girl needed to learn a little bit more on that because otherwise she wouldn't have got hooked up with Godfrey. But that's another story. Um, yeah, Godfrey was definitely her, the end of her life, basically. Okay, then, let me just ask this one question. Do you, mm -hmm. did you guys feel like Zambia could be considered a character in the book? Michael, you go first. Or was it um, too distance for that? Uh, in okay, so the previous book that we read, Chintu, I felt like that was that was like a like the characters made the country. Here, I think it's not so much. Um, I think it's more on the on the background for me on this one. Oh, you don't think the characters make Zambia? No, well, I, I, I think they do. I could see that because, because uh, that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking at. See, and I, you and I already had this discussion <laughs> earlier. That's why she's looking like that. Because I think the kids just left a bad taste in my mouth. So <laughs> <laughs> that's Zambia, though. You know, it's, I, more, and it's you know what this is. This is the first book that I have read that is set in Zambia, and yeah, yeah, there's I'm a sure lot everybody. that I there's, yeah. There's there's a lot that I don't know. There, there's a lot. There's all that I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of the stuff that she says in here historically, the, it's all true. The and from that, the, that I believe that I just, the football yeah. team that dies in the plane crash. That shit is true. It happened in 1993. That, that shit is true. Yeah. yeah. Um, all that I I looked everything up. All that stuff is true. So you're learning about some of the things that that have happened along the way. But maybe it just wasn't enough. Maybe you needed more. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it was enough. I think the characters in the book. Um I I think like I don't want to compare it to Chintu, but I just feel like that was that's like a really good example of where the characters are, it's, it feels like they are building the country. Like they are putting the foundation, like the, the tree, the... they're making it. Yeah, they're making it. Here I felt as though it, it's almost like the first 
the introduction is the c- country, like the country. I don't know if I don't. I, I don't think, think I, I feel like Zambia was across. happening around them. That oh, that's a good yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zambia Zambia, I, Zambia was sure. happening around, around them, them, but they were not. They were not integral enough, in my opinion, to the forming of Zambia. They were on the fringes of the things that were happening, like the far fringes yeah. of the things that were happening to make Zambia a country and then to maintain, or for Zambia to maintain its space um, and to create its space as a country that is independent from whatever it was part of before. I don't think that these yeah, characters you say it when you say that it's that they are um th- they are a, a fringe of it so for example it's going on it's happening they happen to be there it's almost like being an expat except yeah. your life yeah <laughs> I, I don't think these characters space that they take up in zambia is strong enough to shut to it's highlight only one part it's only a small part it's it's not no it's not like right this. but it doesn't but it doesn't yeah. highlight no it doesn't highlight the growth of zambia that's what i'm saying i don't think that they're that the space that they take up in zambia and in the revolution but i think it shows us some aspects of it that is in the sense of how people react to what's happening at the moment as you, as mm. y'all see, okay yeah i disagree <laughs> How do people react what's going on? Um, uh, hardcover Heart said Zambia was a construct. Back to that first yeah. sentence. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. Yeah. So um, have you read any other books that are similar to this or that you can think of? No. No. I can't. I kind of and see. I don't even think Chintu is similar to this. I also thought no. about House of is, House of Stone. Similar to this, Bark Skins. And I haven't read Bark. Oh, I haven't, I read, haven't that. read Bark Skins, skins yet. Why I have read Bark Skins. Wait, what country? Yeah. What what country is that? That's Canada. Canada. Oh, yeah. I but haven't it's, read Bark Skins yet. It's, it's on my it's list. Similar. You see, like here, you have three branches of the family, and Bark Skins. It's from two men. They both come over from France. They go to Canada and they're like indentured to, what do you call it? Like the person who owns, you know, the sprawling land in Canada. And so they're, they're meant to work for that person until they can, you know, earn their keep and be able to go off on their own. Except what winds up happening is they go off hunting one day with the, the, the Lord or whatever they call the person. And one guy goes this way, and the other oh. one goes off. He's like, "Fuck this, I'm out." And he just <laughs> he goes on his own. And from there, those two men, their lineages meet. Okay. And it is so freaking good, and it reminds me of the way this book is done because I think you get the mix of the the the, the Canadian, the Native American, and. It's it's awesome. Yeah, it's I good. think Michael can is drawing the connection to Chintu because there's this whole familial connection that ends up mm-hmm. happening with the characters in the story. Like they are all there's a familial connection that happens that, and they are all eventually brought back together with that huge family reunion yeah. Yeah. that takes place. And for for centuries, they are separated. Once Chintu yeah. makes his decision. Um, or makes has his accident. Yeah. Um, they, you know, there's they're separated, and there's the further they get down the line, the more separation happens between. Separation happens. Yeah, but so I think that's the um, because it's not physical separation in this book. It is emotional and Most ideological people. separation yeah. in the characters in this book as they go down the line. So I think yeah. that's the connection, and I can I can see it. I can yeah. see it from that from that way. I did not think about that before. Yeah. Thank you, Michael. <laughs> yeah, you're right about that. It's 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 fairly different though from Chintu, I think. But yeah, oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. bark skins, the way it's this this family family joining up, linking um, one lineage that has a lot more Native American in it. The other one has more the Canadian American lineage to it and then how they that those lineages mix and then 
you know, what, what comes out of that and, and how people have to grow and survive in, you know, with, with the skin they got and stuff, but it's really, it's a really good book. And then it has, it, it kind of goes off on some twists and stuff that are, uh, that are surprising, but very good. Um, I say definitely check that one out if you haven't read Bark Skins, because there's, there's a similarity to to the way that book is written as opposed to the way um, the, the old drift is written as well. Um, have you guys got some questions in the comment section? Um, ask away. Or statements. This is oh, always so much fun. I think I have some things as well, but I just want to hear what other people have yeah. to say. While we wait for the uh, the questions or statements, um, do we have any idea for the next book? Ooh, my Ooh, God! Wow. You 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 going fast now? Like, well, yeah. not really, because isn't it November, October? It's October, I know, I know. <laughs> it's already August. Michael, <laughs> that's wild. Well, that is wow. That it's already August. Well, October, I, we need something British. So there was the idea of doing Zadie Smith's Mama's book, <clears throat> but I don't know if it, everybody will be able to get it. Mm. I don't know if I want a not her first book to be my first book because I haven't read Zadie Smith yet. No, it's Zadie Smith's Mama's book. Oh. Oh. Wait. Her Wait, mom wrote a book? I, that's not what I got for Wait, what? Yes. Oh, her mom wrote a book? Yes. That is not what oh, I got. Oh, is it good? We don't know. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it's. I think it'll be interesting because it's not like, I don't think it's too intense. I, I just read a little bit of the beginning. I really like the way it, it reads. I think it reads really well. Does she write like Zadie Smith? <laughs> Why no. No, because... No, she doesn't write like Zadie what was Smith. The, I read like, a book from Zadie Smith, and I just remember, I was like, okay. She doesn't write like Zadie Smith. Well, I don't know. What, what book did you read by Zadie Smith? Um, the one with the twins, uh, the ballet twins. Um, oh, that's... Um, uh, what do you call oh my it? Gosh. Um, the, the name is blanket on me. It's... Uh, what is that one called? Swing Time. Yes. Ooh, yeah, Tom, it's one of my man. favorites. You should have read White Teeth. That's her best book. That's, that's her best book. That oh, well, that's, yeah, that's the one White I have. Teeth. Yeah. Stop playing. Um, Tanya, Tanya put in the chat that she did. I'm going to deviate from this question while we um, allow Dee Dee to continue to ruminate. Um, Tanya says she doesn't quite understand or they don't quite understand. Apologies if I'm misgendering the difference between coloreds and blacks. Um, oh, colors yeah. are biracial. Yeah. Yeah. Col <laughs> colors are colors are multiracial. Yeah. Multiracial. Multi <laughs> oh, that was racial. another thing that I wanted to mention. Colors are multiracial. Multiracial. So, with, for example, yeah, with people of color, so they could be like Isabella and Bellagio children. And, yeah. Who are, and yeah. So that's what we would consider. Nyla would be considered colored. Yeah, because she yeah. is half Indian, half. Um, because they, they mention it like they, they define what it is, yeah, yeah. absolutely, yeah. yeah. Um, Trevor Noah, yeah, will be colored, um, or is colored, yeah. Uh, but another thing I wanted to mention the pronunciations of American words by the characters was so like it's spot on. Like, have y'all seen the video of? Um, the teachers in other countries who are spelling and then saying words with their students in English. So it's one. It's oh. a teacher in oh, India. It's a teacher in Africa. Oh, yeah, that there was like that that kid, the doctor when he talks. I was like, whoa. Yeah, but the is... way like they're they're spelling, they're saying words, they're yeah. spelling words like knowledge, and there's yeah. the way that they pronunciate the words that are English words based on the phonetics that they, how they understand yeah, phonetics exactly. based English on their is, culture is so different. And it's English so is so hard to learn. Yes. Yeah. That, and there's another a hard video. Language. English is a much harder language than people would like to believe. I'm yes. saying it's that because- It's not phonetically sound. Where, where it's people not, be talking it's about- It's not phonetically sound. There's another, exactly. 
There's like the word video. knife. Why is there a K right there? Why is There's there a no fucking knee- K in knife? Yeah. Yeah. Why is there an H in what, who, when, where, and why? Yeah. Like, it's it's tons why of words is there an H? That. Um, but not only those, the words that pronounce the same and it's two different meanings. Oh. <laughs> oh, God. Those are the ones that really why, get Doesn't that happen in French, too, though? Because I remember when I had to do my senior recital, my teacher, my vocal coach, was like, make sure I had one French song. And she was hella hard on me on making sure I had the diction for them damn words right. Because, yeah, but was- because in, Fran- in French, it's not that the words are pronounced exactly the same. It's just it's, that if you change a vowel, right, right. if you say a ooh instead of a e, it's not the same word. Yeah. Okay. So if you say C O U, it's somebody's neck. If you say C U L, it's somebody's asshole. Okay. So <laughs> it's the same thing. Okay. <laughs> but it's easy to make that, to, to make that, you know, to want to say neck and then pronounce it. Like asshole, yeah, like asshole. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Why are everybody laughing? You know, okay. Yeah. Um, Hardcover heart says, "Great discussion." Does anyone follow her on social media? She is fascinating. She used to teach at Berkeley, and she's at Harvard now. She writes essays. She has she has written a ton of mind blowing essays. Who are you I did about? not. And, um, I think uh, she might be talking about Sir Pell. Pell. Yeah, I did oh, not, and I will now. I wouldn't be surprised. She's smart. She intelligent. Yeah. She I, I did. I oh, did her writing is her. great. She's no, yeah. very intelligent, and <laughs> she knows how to tell a story. That's all I gotta say. Um, there's another video. I'm stuck on this pronunciation thing because it's something like I'm not a linguist, but I mm-hmm. appreciate ling- the work that people who le- can easily learn a second language. That's a handicap for me. I cannot do that easily. Um, but there's another video but that was years ago about how and why it's so difficult to learn English because like Michael said, and like we said before, the, the words are not phonetically sound. You have two letters together that yeah. make one sound and this is the only language that they make one sound in. So it reads like common English words and how those words would be pronounced in other <laughs> in other yeah. countries and other languages. I'm going to see if I can find that video with the teachers in the other Please countries see, I would love and, to send, see that. and send that to you. I'm going to see if I can find that because it's so, I was like, holy crap, that's what this that's what this book is, especially when Lionel and Musa Gabwe were speaking. And why didn't anybody pull out Musa Gabwe's tooth? Whatever was dead in his mouth. Yeah, like, oh, that was that was kind of gross. The descri- yeah. again, the description okay. of that. And it was a, it yeah. was consistent. And his like no one, him knowing that no one in the medical community actually took him seriously. Like he was a he was a smart guy and he had the same passion around creating a vaccine that Lionel had, but he yeah. did not. He did not have, I don't think, the education. Yeah, um, I think that he was the, very, but he was very intent on doing it correctly. Right. Like, he wasn't going to like inject stuff into everybody around and, and stuff like Like crazy. they did it. Like they did. Like, like, <laughs> like just that, it was crazy. But um, he was actually trying to do it correctly. And I thought that was very interesting. Okay, the book I was talking about is called The Day I Fell Off My Island by Yvonne Bailey Smith. The day I fell off my island. Is this which book? What what, is this for? The next book? Maybe for October. Is what the cover is very pretty. If you can get it, if you can get it or not, I don't know if you can in the states get that. Oh, see, it's only uh, it's available October 12, twenty twenty one. Yeah, so we wouldn't even get that in time. So. Not we can put that on the list, like for later, but we need another book. That's okay, well, list. like you don't have to give me a minute then. Okay, okay. Hey, you got, know. you got, you got a month. <laughs> okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. Uh, I got a month. All right. Oh my gosh, I love you, Didi. I'm joking. We're gonna but... find something. We're gonna find yeah. something British and black for October. Um. Yeah. So, um, does anybody have anything else to say about the old drift? What um, they like? Lola, Lola Blackwell's is your friend, but I get charged mm-hmm. by my bank for purchasing from Blackwell because it is out of the states. I have tried through you three different banks in here who uses my affiliate to to purchase at Blackwell's. Thank you, thank you. You're welcome. But yeah, I get. Char- 
Because <laughs> I think I had to get, um, I think I had to get uh, a more perfect, you no, what's the one? Yeah, it's um, a more perfect union. I think. No, but the one before that, the one we read last October. Oh, that sounds. Oh, um, the blue book. It has a blue cover. Yeah. yeah. The book yeah. of Echoes. Yeah, that's well, it. Oh, the yeah. Book, the book okay, the of book, Echoes. Book? I had yeah. to order. I could not get that through the States. I had to order that one. Um, from Blackwells, I was able to get. Alba says she's gonna read the old drift again. I'm gonna do it again. Not yourself, though. No, more power. I need a break. Yeah. I think I, I'm gonna read it again next year. I will read it again because I want to tell. Like I did not have when I'm reading a book, particularly a book that is historical fiction, yeah. and I'm sure those of you who have been here for a while, um, Dee Dee is very well of, aware of this. Literary fiction is not my cup of tea on most occasions. Um, I will read it, but it's but typically I I enjoyed this much more than I thought I would because I was terribly mm. uh, every time Dee Dee gives us a literary fiction book I'm like it's gonna be that damn hoe. Um, but <laughs> <laughs> but I'm gonna have to. I love that hoe though. She loved that hoe though. I didn't. I I'm gonna have cool. to read this again so that I can tab it and so that I can do the research <laughs> and googling that I like to do when I am reading a historical fiction book to cross-reference occasions, things that happen in the book or the time in that country in, you know, that's in the book with what actually happened in real life. So I didn't have the time to do that this go round. So I will probably read it again, but it won't be, it won't be in 2021. It probably won't be in 2022. Let me no, I might read it either next year or the year after. For sure yeah. I'm going to reread it though. And I'm going to leave all my tabs and everything. Yeah, I have no tabs. I'll Let's cheer y'all on. I had though. <laughs> like I said, he done. Fuck it. <laughs> I'll cheer y'all on. Tab. Tab to <sighs> get. Tab oh my God. to get. Um, so what do you, uh, let's go and give our star ratings. So what do you give it, Michael? Um, I gave it a 3.5. I rounded it up to four stars on, well, I don't use Goodreads, but I, I on, on Bookly, I rated it four stars. But, but do y'all do the story graph? Where y'all at story graph? I do the story graph. I didn't practice no, no, in the story I, graph. I haven't. Y'all, y'all need to get in the story graph. I do, I do it. I have not done, I did the transfer of my library. Oh, see, I didn't do that. to the story graph. I didn't yeah. do that. I don't yeah, but I, that. I have not used it much. But definitely do it. It's really cool. Cause you can yeah. get your, you can even do 3.25 if you want, you know what I mean? Oh, see, and I don't do partial stars. It's all or nothing. <laughs> oh, yeah. either, either, either you got it, you don't, ain't no A, A, you can get an A plus. But you ain't no A minuses, ain't no B, ain't no B pluses. It is oh, A, B, C, D. one of them hard ass teachers. You damn straight. Oh man! No, no kind of extra credit at all. No, no. you can have. You can have. I'm gonna get. Credit. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna get grade. that eighty nine. I'm gonna get that eighty nine. All you right. can have extra oh. credit, but that is its own grade. It will not change the grade on previous tests that you have. See, look, everybody's saying three point five, three point five. Okay, Michael said three point five. What you saying, uh, Tatiana? Oh, it, it is. It is a solid three for me. It is not a four. Mm. Um, and for it me, is, it's a solid four. Yeah. What? Latrice, solid four. I'm very, I'm surprised. I am, I am surprised. Yes, yes. <laughs> Didi is ecstatic. <laughs> Who gave it five stars, though? That's the bigger question. Right. Yeah, did, any, that is a good, did anyone give it five stars? There's someone, I don't think I don't anybody know, gave it five. Yeah, I don't know if you're still in the chat. There is someone who at the beginning of the live said that this yeah. was, or in somebody's on a YouTube, not a YouTube, IG's post. Oh. If you're here, said that this was your second time reading this when you did, when you participated in the read along with us. If you're here, has your rating changed from the first time you read it to the second? Oh, yeah. I think it was on IG. I mean, they may oh, not be so here. Come, come up. Don't, Don't be shy. Cars. Don't be shy. No, they tagged us in it. When you go to oh, IG, you're tagged. So I'm oh gonna go if, if they're not here, I'm gonna go to the IG post to ask because they gave it 3.5 on yeah. IG. So I just want to know what their thoughts. Well, 3.5. I need to read what like, the fucking post say. It. it may say three, three stars is a good book. Yes. Yeah, three it's, stars it's, it's is a good, good book. book. Yeah. If I give a book two stars, there's it's a literally no, no, no. nine times out of ten. If I give a book two stars, the only thing I liked in it was the screwing. Oh. <laughs> 
shit. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be real. If it if it is a two star book, the only thing I liked about it is the score. And it's a one. It's a one star right. with good ass. Well, oh I, I gave Frank Planton a two stars, and I, I just didn't. I was bored. Okay. Then it would have. Yeah, it, I probably would have DNF'd Frank Plant. You and you told me. You said when I told you that I hadn't had a chance to get the library, couldn't get it in. Girl, don't even like this. This ain't for you. Yeah, it ain't for you. <laughs> It ain't for you. You would be like, you wouldn't have liked it. Okay, Laura. Thank you. Thank you, Latrice, because I totally missed that in the yeah. Laura. Yeah. Say oh, state yeah. the name. Yeah. Okay, right. Laura said it was it was still um a three point five. Yeah. Still three point five is excellent. I I'm like I, I agree. I I mean two point yeah. two is not a bad rating typically oh, look, for other people. Now. For me, the it first is Zambian novel we've all read. We've all read. Hold on. Pause. Okay. Is this a debut? Yes, it's her debut. What the fuck? I know. That's why I got four stars. <laughs> <laughs> I, it could be a debut, but I'm still giving it three point five. Yeah, I'm still. It's still a solid well, three. It's a debut. This is, because if you're debut this like is, this. Okay. This is a very good it's, debut. Oh no, it's I very agree. great. It's a great debut novel. Very good. Yes. Okay. Yes. So I hope everybody enjoyed reading that and they feel accomplished now that it's done. Because you should. Um, it's a big one, but you know, add it to your books over 400 pages. Yes, you read a tome mm -hmm. this year. You, you read, read a tome this year. <laughs> <laughs> And most of us, hold on, pause, because you know I like big books. Most of us read a tome in seven days or less. So yeah. having done this, for yeah. those of you who don't normally read tomes, yeah. I need you, I need you to understand that it can be done. Yeah, it can be done and it can be enjoyed. Know. And you don't have to read every tome in seven days. I want I just want us as readers to read more fat books because Look, I read so two this month. I read this one. And I read Nicholas Nickleby, which is 830. Yeah, pages. you you mm. finished that? Yeah. I sure did. I sure did. You deserve you tell your husband he needs to take you out to dinner with a nice fat drink. Cause you you that is yeah, that is, that's like, huge. You I read five four books this month. You read 1300 pages. You have four books. You read more than 1300 pages. I read this month. I read that the is, old drift. I read Nicholas Nickleby, I read Frying Plantain, and I read uh, Knights of the Creek Creaking Bed. Short story. What is book. that, around 1,700 pages in a month? That is nuts. Yeah, that I mean, amazes me. This took me, according to the Bookly app, this this book took me 13 hours and 40 minutes. Yeah, you read faster than me. This book, <laughs> yeah, and partly because I was reading it while falling asleep and having to reacquaint oh. myself with words, it took me 20 hours. <laughs> Hold on, let me go. It's 20 hours and some minutes. Hold on. It took me 16 hours and 47 minutes. I was the slow motherfucking reader. And you know what, though? I think a lot of that, too, was the beginning. Because remember how I told you the beginning threw me off? Mm. Because oh, at the, the beginning where I started reading slower was at the end. At the very beginning, I read 12 pages and 40 minutes. Wow. <laughs> Then the next day, 27 pages in an hour and 16 minutes. And then, but as the story goes, as like the story went on, I read 51 pages or 59 pages in two hours, 76 pages in an hour. So as the story progressed, and I, you know, I was beyond the racist who decided to reside in Africa because you couldn't stay your ass where you were. Mm -hmm. um, I, it was, it moved a little, it moved a lot better for me. Oh, yeah. Alicia says, Latrice, you know I'm rolling my eyes at big books. <laughs> Alicia, it can be done, boo. You yeah, finish. Alicia it rolling her eyes done. because the next book we're reading in the Read So Lit book club is um, From Foster to the Pigfoot. It's like a romance, a Ghanaian oh, romance. I, and I have to get that. I'm going to have to it's, buy that. It's, I didn't realize, but it's like 500 pages. Oh, shit. Okay, I might not get to that. <laughs> Cause I still I still have uh, to read I still have to read the books um I have to reread Dawn, 
So, and I have to reread it really fast though. It does, but I have to reread it with intentionality, not just as, yeah, I know. I got to lead a but fucking discussion. It reads really yeah. fast. I mean, yeah. well, yeah. If, you, if you've already read it, then you kind of, you kind of know, you know, the, 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 the mysterious parts. Yeah. Oh, we track our time on Bookly. Uh, I'll show you the app. It's called Bookly. I, I love Bookly because it B also right here with the B. Yeah, I, I I actually I was like, this is an app I'm gonna pay for. Actually, I pay I, for it too. And <laughs> yes. for it, I love Bookly. What I love about it is that instead of like instead of thinking of pages, you start to think of time. So like, yes. I can set a time. How much can I set a time for and actually finish this book? And it 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 really changes the way you read. Like you I was like, this is you think about reading. It's really, yeah, it really and it's, and I need y'all to understand. There are there are some things that I have gotten myself into. That's all Michael's fault. Bookly is one of those things. It's it's and really, I'm never really, I'm never girl, disappointed. Like really, Michael's never led me wrong. It's I'm never really good. I was hesitating, but I took it last year when we were in lockdown. I said I'm getting Bookly because that's gonna yeah. motivate you. And yeah. ever since I've gotten it, I love it. And, I and it's really it. it's really like one of the nice things where you finish a novel, you can actually it it shows you like a summer graph, like a summary, a summary yeah. of like a graph like of how you read it. Make, it is make that word a thing. Really, make that a thing. Really I like nice. I also have on here. I have Book Buddy. Have you guys got Book Buddy? I have Book, book Buddy, no. but I have not um, added any new books it. to it in the last two years. I add so my I books. have I have Book Buddy. I need to add more of my books. Love to it. Book Buddy. You pay yeah. and you have it. You know, I haven't. I didn't pay for that. You pay. I didn't pay for that. Yeah, yeah Bookly is what got me. Where Michael was with book with Bookly, I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep talking about it because this is all your fault. Because I don't pay for apps. Yeah, I started it's using free. it, and I was like, "This is great," but it's free up to five books. And when I got to book number six, and I couldn't do it, and it was like, "You got to pay for it," I was like, "Fuck it, I'm not paying for Bookly." And then I finished that book, and I was like, "I want to add this book." Yeah, because the way it works is it gives like you a certain amount years. of books, but you'll have to delete it on the free version. You have to delete them. This is this is Book Buddy right here. See mm -hmm. this thing right there. I mean, it's called Book Buddy Plus, and what it does is it allows you to. Um, yeah, to I have just I have books. just regular. I so hate. what you can do is you just take your book and you scan it. You you you, you, you scan you, the barcode. Your barcode, and you can. So what I've been doing is I scan my bookshelves. Oh, that's what it does. Put that on there, and you can put, you know, if some like imagine you lend it to someone, you can put in there lent to, and it'll it'll keep track of that on there. Or if you want to put all your your sci-fi together, you 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 say that it's a sci-fi. It asks you everything. It asks you. Bookly is a time readers. tracking app for your reading. Book Buddy is a library app for your cat yeah. for your own book catalog. Yeah. yeah. So you'll have it like you you know what books you have. So let's say yeah. you're going to the bookstore. So and you're like, some, Do I have this book? people like us who buy books <laughs> willy nilly, like yeah. we have a bad day, fuck it. I'm going to the bookstore. And Absolutely. then get home and we like, damn, I already got this I book. Got this book. Exactly. Or if you're at a exactly. it helps that, yeah, if you're, going, helps that if you're like at a used bookstore, you're like, Do I have this? Because I know I have done it. That's me. That's I have me, done Michael. it. Yeah. Because you're just like, I mean, good. Because then, because you're in your head, you're thinking, oh, this book is only three dollars. I'll get it. Yeah, and, and if I have it already, then you have it. And you're like, somebody else. There's no, there's no point of trying to return a three dollar book. Like, I bought three copies of the Book of Phoenix by accident. <laughs> three. Oh, shit, girl. <laughs> so that is why Bookly is important. Yeah, I so, like Bookly a lot. It I had, has, do I still have Library Thing? I had Library Thing at one point, and I don't think I liked it as much as I liked Book Buddy. But I used, I did use Library Thing for a very. I still get emails. This the the status of the thing or the state of the thing. The it's they're so cute. Um, <laughs> but yeah. All right. Let's just see. All right. Any last words? Yeah, I was just trying to see if there's any. <laughs> okay, thanks, Alba. <laughs> Like so, I don't buy three of the same books anymore. <laughs> Why? Because you got Bookly? <laughs> no, she no, she's just saying. She says, "Oh, she said I she bought three of anymore. the half yeah. has never been told." I mean, I I've done that several times with um Tony Morrison books because I was like, "Do I have this?" 
But that's like I remember reading it, but I was like, did I check it out from the library or have my own copy? Yeah, or do I own it? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay, I'm gonna end this. Thank um, you all so much for joining us and for yeah, participating. Yeah, it was a great discussion. Uh, happy to see that there were people that actually actually read through this whole thing and were enjoying reading it and actually came over oh, to Donna. discuss with us. Okay. We really appreciate it. I'll keep you posted on what the next book will be in October, and it will be a Black British writer because October is okay. Black History Black Month, in, History the month UK. in the UK. So um, stay tuned. As Tatiana said, I have one month to find one. Okay, so <laughs> I'll be back in one month with something. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thanks for coming, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye bye. Bye bye.